for you artists out there who are waiting in your comfort zone, talking about the project, do it. Do it today. You never know when it's all gonna be gone. Hey guys, I, uh, I'm coming completely unscripted here. My life has changed forever. I think it's important to log these things in the moment that you're having them. I decided to go for a walk here at the, the lake at DVC, which has extended itself to me many times this year when I just needed to get out of the walls of my house and just go walking around. Those walls that have been my house for over 20 years now uh, will no longer be here. I have to be out in two months. And uh, if you've been paying attention to my vlogs or just know me as a person, you know that I've been mounting a production, turning the garage into a studio and making a world build for a small city and putting everything into that. Real life has interjected. I have two months to see if I can even live in California because I'll be straight with you, I had a good rental situation which enabled me to do my art. You know, I've been preparing for the day and I'm very, very lucky to have had what I've had. But now things are changing. All these things that I've grabbed and purchased and whatever for the production, I wanna hang on to them, but I'm gonna be in survival mode, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. This place has been my umbrella. I don't wanna give up. I'm trying to stay composed. After 20 years of having something and now not having it, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to accept this. <sighs> but I've always been saying, if I don't have this place, I can't afford to live in California. Now we're here. So I went for a walk just to cool out and just make sure that I don't have an aneurysm in here. Of course, there are people going through much worse. This is nothing new for this year, so. Welcome to the party, Richter. See you at the party, Richter! But I don't want to fold. I don't want to stop the production that I've been mounting. This is my life's work. There's no backpack big enough to take everything with me. Maybe I'll have to get storage or something. I don't know. Now I have to look at this year. Part of me is going to want to beat myself up for not working harder, for not dedicating every single minute, every single moment to getting my projects done to the time that I tried to say that I was learning from the relationships I got into, which ended up being very costly to the craft. I still actually haven't released the vlog today that I was gonna release talking about what I was doing with production. <laughs> so it kind of shows the state with which the garage is in, all these things I'm building. I also gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this Japanese Zen garden that I made in the front yard. I have so many things to sort out now. I'm trying to be the Zen master and just be the calm and observe from the center. When things are good, you stay in the center and you observe. You don't go after the joy like an addict. And then when things get rough, because of that practice, because of that discipline, you stay in the center. And sometimes the universe is working in your favor but sometimes to do so, it has to take some things away. I don't want to panic. I need to embrace all of this. I had some big hurdles to jump this year. Well, okay. There's a bigger one now. How much do you believe in your convictions? I don't want this to be the defining moment of my artistic pursuits. This will not be the defining moment of my artistic pursuits in this world. I will find a way.